Hi, and welcome to Continuous Profiling with OpenTelemetry. My name is Florian, I'm a software engineer and member of the OpenTelemetry Profiling Special Interest Group. Continuous profiling is essential for optimizing application performance and resource utilization, leading to reduced energy consumption and a smaller environmental footprint. This talk will cover how eBPath enables continuous profiling of native languages as well as higher level languages without instrumentation. Earlier this year, Elastic donated its eBPF-based continuous profiling agent to OpenTelemetry. Now this code is licensed as Apache 2 and its code is available on GitHub for everyone. Due to eBPF, its footprint is quite minimal, meaning it introduces on average a CPU overhead of around 1% and requires roughly 250 megabytes of memory. The agent is capable of unwinding stacks without frame pointers, so applications do not need to be recompiled with special flags and it is also not required to deploy debug symbols everywhere. At the moment, the agent is capable of unwinding stacks for native code like C, C++, Go and Rust, as well as higher level languages like Java, Python, Ruby, PHP, JavaScript, Perl and .NET. For AMD64, the minimum required Linux kernel version is 419 and for ARM64 it's 5.5. To get started with continuous profiling in your environment with this agent, no reconfiguration, instrumentation or restarts of applications or services are required. Now let's talk about how this profiling agent utilizes eBPF to make this possible. Most important to know, the profiling agent takes advantage of the perf subsystem of the Linux kernel. The perf subsystem provides performance analysis capabilities within the Linux kernel with detailed information about various hardware and software events as well as system-wide performance metrics. The profiling agent uses a technique that can be described as lazy loading which is shown in this diagram. Every 50 milliseconds an eBPF program is called. This program then checks if the process to unwind is known or new. If the process is known, the eBPF program will do a tail call to continue stack unwinding. If the process is not known at this moment, the eBPF program will inform the user space via the perf event array map. The user space component then makes sure to populate eBPF maps with information about this process, so that at the next iteration the eBPF programs can unwind its stack. This technique allows a simple workflow as it does not require eBPF programs to be attached and managed on multiple other process related events in a Linux kernel like Fork. On newer Linux kernels, eBPF helpers like BPF Find VMA are available to fetch the backing memory mapping for a process without requiring the user space component to resolve it. But this helper is only available for Linux kernels newer than 5.17. The profiling agent uses LPM eBPF maps to make memory mappings within a process available to the unwinding eBPF programs. LPM maps are most well known in the networking space for filtering or routing topics. The struct BPF LPM tree key shows an example of such a use case. The LPM map key for the profiling agent looks a bit different. The process ID as well as the memory address of a memory mapping within the process is encoded within the key of the LPM map. Memory mappings within a process are usually aligned to some extent and so the LPM map provides a convenient way to organize them. A dummy entry for known processes also allows the eBPF programs to check this LPM map if the process is known or the user space component should be informed as seen on the previous slides. But how does the profiling agent gather information to be able to unwind the stack? On modern Linux kernels, eBPF helper functions like BPF get stack are available as well as BPF task ptrex. While the eBPF helper BPF get stack would be available for the minimum supported Linux kernel version, the profiling agent gathers required stack information a bit differently. Also, the minimum supported Linux kernel version was just recently increased from 4.15 to 4.19. For this reason, there are two steps involved in how the profiling agent fetches the required information to be able to unwind the stack. The first step happens once at startup. Memory of the struct task struct is inspected for the offset of the field stack. 
The value of this offset is then placed in an eBPF map, here called system config, to make it available for eBPF programs. The eBPF map system config is used to communicate configuration options from user space to the eBPF programs, as BTF is not available. The second step happens every time eBPF programs unwind the stack for a process. With the offset from the eBPF map system config and the return value of BPF get current task, a function can get the necessary information for unwinding the stack. Fetching the registers is an important step as some higher level languages use some registers to store additional information for their interpreter virtual machine. This concludes the short introduction into the Open Telemetry Profiling Agent. Thank you for your attention and happy profiling! Thank you.